My name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to take uh, drivers, internet drivers, for a computer that you might be repairing and put them onto a CD or a flash drive and install them on, a, on another computer. And uh, this is really great if you have reinstalled Windows or something like that on a computer, but the default drivers aren't letting you get online. And if you can't get online, you can't update Windows, you can't do a lot of other stuff that you might need to do. So we need to go to a computer that already has internet access, download the drivers, and then transfer them over to the computer you're repairing somehow. So here I am inside of Windows, and this is, it, the drivers have always have a weird code, which I don't really like because you can't tell what they're for. But this is, a, this is a driver for a Dell laptop to allow it to get onto the internet. It's the wireless card driver. So I'm going to use a flash drive to transfer it over. You can use a CD, but I prefer flash drives. They're a lot quicker. They're a little bit cleaner. And pretty much 100% of the time, the default drivers for whatever computer you're using are going to have USB support. So I'm going to plug that in real quick. And you'll see that when it mounts, the uh, autoplay comes up. So we're going to open folder to view files. And I'll just delete the temporary files that are on there and transfer the driver. And this driver is uh, 52 megabytes big. Uh, wireless internet drivers are some of the bigger drivers that you'll download and they can take a little, bit of, a little bit of time to get from the support site, so just keep that in mind. So now we've got that on there and uh, if we run this on the other computer, it's just going to pop up with a dialog box, basically like installing a game. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to put internet drivers onto another computer. I'm Josiah Ray.